Hi guys, it's Hope from Cedaholic Gardens, and I'm sitting here by the big bed, and guess what camera guy walks up to me and brings me? Aren't those just splendid? And just wanted to show you the advance on the growth since we planted the big bed. This was the one in tour number three. Um, I've got a little pea here that I'm not going to pick just yet because she's a little, little. My sunflowers have come up. Penelope's pumpkin is doing great in that corner. I've got all sorts of brassicas in this bed. And look how big those squash have gotten. Oh my gosh. I've got scarlet kale. I've got some red Russian kale that I'm about to put in to spurs somewhere. I've got Verona cabbage. I've got Brunswick cabbage. I've got Romanesco broccoli. I've got cilantro. I've got a little marigold in here. And I'm going to turn around and take it a back one. So bear with me. You know it takes me a minute. But even though I don't have flowers, look at that. I have a bud on that marigold. Can you see that? I can't see it, so I don't think you can. Let's see if I can bring this shot out a little bit. Um, and focus on this little bud. Um, I think I'm just a little... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Flower bud. And look how big these beets are now. So, this is long, so we can the harvesting a nice crop of beets. That flower pot is the one I was talking about. I'm going to stick my broken-headed zinnia. There's my winter density lettuce. It's about to go off. I put a floating row cover over all of this gorgeous, gorgeous um, red Russian kale. And Paula's um, curly kale. She gave me seed spores on the other side of it in there, too. You can't really see it from this side. I'm on the wrong side today. My oregano's grown up a little bit in that pot with the petunias. And look at those velvet purple petunias there. And you see all my spinach is going to seed, and I'm just going to let it sit right there and go to seed. And I'll collect those in a little while. And I, we're harvesting lettuce out here every day or every other day. And I just um, wanted to show you. I thought my husband was growing strawberries and sand. He says it's not sand, it's just on the top um, as kind of a organic layer. And those seem to be doing quite well as well. This is a bunch of cups like this um, that I way overseeded because I couldn't control the quantities. Some of them have already bolted and I can't get them transplanted. But he's busy working full time and building the beds as fast as he absolutely can. See those boards over there? He's putting them together here because he, the um, electrical power source over at the community garden is kind of far away and he does not want to lose any of his power tools while his back is turned and I can't say I blame him. So he's putting them together here and we'll take them over there and as soon as he gets me a bed I can plant, this is going to get in it. So I just wanted to give you a quick tour and um, show you if you can see in the corner that cherry tree's getting quite tall. He's got a little netting around because we have some fruit. And the yard's getting a little bit messy, less messy each tour. I had to get rid of this greenhouse, or well not get rid of it, but I'm going to relocate it and I'm going to um, get a new cover for it, obviously. And that raspberry I was talking about a couple video tours ago along the fence is actually growing this year. So, we're going to keep a close eye on it. We've moved the um, bird feeders. You see the pole there used to be, have a bird feeder on it. So that's probably why I never saw any raspberries. They probably had a feast every year. Now the feeders are in the front of the house. And I just, as always, want to say to you, please like, share, subscribe. You know the SOP. And blessings of bounty to you and yours. And may your gardens always bring you joy. See you guys next time.